Hey everyone, welcome to Royce Reports. I'm your host, Royce, and I kind of did something and I uh, I need some help. And you're probably wondering, okay, what did you do this time? Well, I bought this thing. So, let's talk about it. All right, this look at this thing. Look at, look at a little... Got my little lunch bag going to school uh, with my GameCube. So I bought a GameCube. Um, why? I can't tell you. I don't know. I don't know why. I'm an Xbox guy. As you, as you know, this channel is dedicated to mostly Xbox related stuff. And that's why I really pride myself in knowing a lot of Xbox stuff. But I never grew up with a GameCube. I never actually was a part of the Nintendo ecosystem or anything like that. Um, I always was able to go to friends houses who had an N64 and like a, a Super Nintendo. My grandpa had one. And so I've never really had a chance to actually own one. I've always been an Xbox guy. Ever since I was a kid, I remember just thinking like, okay, I, I want to play Halo. I don't really want to play Mario Kart. That was just, just me. But as I started growing up, I realized that, you know, I like the way Nintendo carries themselves as a brand. They are very strong when it comes to physical media. And I really, like I said before, I'll say it again, I love physical media. I'm a huge collector of that stuff. And so owning one of these is uh, the step in the direction that I kind of want to go towards when it comes down to collecting. Um, and I'm just, I need help if there's any GameCube enthusiast out there. Uh, if you could kind of, <laughs> with this thing, you know, just, we can do it, right? Like, I don't know what I'm getting myself into. So, as you can see here, it is the GameCube, but it has this thing on it, which is the Game Boy Advance player. This came with the console. So, uh, I kind of got lucky, I guess, or maybe I'm an idiot and I paid too much because uh, there's also that. That is also a plausible thing. But I also got the little disc thing here, the startup disc. So, that will allow me to not only build my Game Boy Advance collection, it allows me to build my GameCube collection. And I know that the GameCube didn't really sell very well, so didn't have a lot of games in the first place. Uh, but I have some games here that I already have in my collection, which I'll go through them. So you have here uh, Mario Kart, Mario Party, sorry, I have Mario Party 5, all right, complete in box, which is good. Mario Kart Double Dash. Now, this is one that also came with the console. I had to buy the other games separately. But, bummer, no complete in box here. And this thing goes for a lot already by itself. So I might end up just selling this and then going and buying a complete in box one uh, just to have that. I also got Super Mario Strikers, which is one of my favorite games. This is a game that I played on deployment with a bunch of people. Um, this is a fun, fun game, and this is mostly the reason why I even got the GameCube in the first place, was because I really wanted to jump back into the first Mario Strikers game. I know there's one on the Wii and there's one on the Switch, but this is the one that I really wanted to get a hand my hands on, and um, so here we are today. I also ended up getting WarioWare Incorporated, which is a party game with Wario, so it has all those fun, cool little uh, games that are Bent as like a 30 second tops type games. Uh, again, complete in box. I feel like the only one I don't have complete in box is that Mario Party, Mario Kart game. I also have Super Smash Bros. Melee here. Uh, so that obviously this is a, a ha must have in a collection like this, I'm assuming. I'm assuming, I don't know. Like I said, I need help. And Kirby Air Ride. A friend of mine really said that this is one of the best games he's ever played. And so I bought it so that we could try it out together. Uh, but that's pretty much it. That is my small collection. And I don't really know what kind of things that I need to do. Now, I know that I have the internet and I could just Google stuff. And I have been Googling stuff. But I'm still very confused about what are some games that you guys think are some must-haves in a collection. Also, I have the DL DOL001 um or 101 with this one right here. Uh, and I don't have the little uh, extra port that uh, the other one is known for. So 
I don't know if I bought the wrong version. I don't know the differences between the two versions. And uh, frankly, uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. I bought a HDMI cable that I thought was just gonna plug into the back of this because I thought it had two. But looking at it now, I realize that this only has one. So that's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's really cool to realize that while I'm filming, right? Um, gosh, okay, well that's a bummer. <laughs> but I know that there's other ones you can use on there anyways. But what games do you guys think I need in my collection? If I am just starting out, I know that I'm trying to get my hands on the Paper Mario. I do ultimately want to get the Pokemon Coliseum and Pokemon Gale of Darkness with the Jirachi disc. I do want to get um, other Mario Party games and stuff. But my question is, do you guys think it is worth it to get some of those games that have already been ported to other consoles? So, so for example, Zelda Wind Waker. I know that it is a hit. It is a huge huge uh game that people always talk about being one of the greatest zelda games and i am actually a big fan of zelda myself uh but i've never played wind waker so should i even get the wind waker on the gamecube or should i just keep the one i have with the wii u i don't really know like is it better is it worse is it the same like the twilight princess should you get twilight princess on gamecube or should you get twilight princess on the wii What's the difference other than the, the little controls, you know? I don't... Help. Help me. I need help. So let me guys, let me know in the comment section below what kind of maybe different stuff that I need. If I'm missing any controllers, if they're, if I should be getting a wave bird, if I should be getting all these other games, or is this sufficient? Should I stop? I don't want to say that I'm moving over to GameCube stuff because I'm not. I'm an Xbox guy, but this is very interesting. I, I want to know. I want to know what your guys' thoughts are, and uh, let me know in the comment section below what you think and uh, if you have any suggestions when it comes down to all things GameCube. It would be much appreciated. So that's all I got for today with this. I feel like I came in really unprepared and not ready for any of this, but let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for having this discussion. And I'll be seeing you guys on the next one. Remember, take it easy.